In this problem, we have a binary search tree and we have to insert a new node into it. So uh, we have this binary search tree and let's say we want to insert 20. So there are, uh, after the insertion, we can have multiple binary search trees with the same set of nodes. So this is one of the binary search trees. So what we are doing, we are comparing 20 with a root. So 20 is more, so it should go in the right side. So we come here, again we check its left and right are null and 20 is more so we insert in the right hand side of this but uh, this problem allows you to uh, return the root of any possible any valid binary search tree that is created after the insertion with the same number of nodes same nodes so let's see what we will do we will follow this simple approach we will uh, compare with each node and we will go to either left or right depending on the value whether it's more or less so let's say we want to insert 20 so we have some function, let's say insert node. Oh, this may differ from the uh, function given in the problem on lead code. So let's say we want to insert a value and we are given a tree pointer here. So there is a possibility that uh, there is no single node in the tree, the tree is empty. So we can compare if root is empty, root is null, then what we will do? we will simply return a new node. So let's create a node here. So tree star t equal to new tree with the given value. So simply return t. This is the root. That first node 20, that is the root because the tree was empty. Else, if this is not the case, then we will see that if the value is more than root. So if root val is less than val so roots value is less and this value is more so it should go in the right hand side of right subtree of the root so roots right equal to if roots right is empty as is in this case so let's say we come to 15 so at 10 it's not empty 20 is more so we call the same function on its right child uh, the same function whatever it's insert node with the same value but the node will be the root will be changed to 15 and the value is 20 and again here we check if the right is null then create that then this new node t should come as the right node so else we will call again the same function on its right child so uh, root dot right is equal to that same function. So I'm writing f in place of insert node. Root right with the same value. And this will return the new root of this right subtree. So the right will change depending on whether uh, the right existed or not. So you can add a condition here. So if root right is there, then root right equal to the same function root right val. If root right is not there, then root right equal to this t. We can write it in one line also. So let me rewrite this problem. Uh, we have some root and we have some value so we create a new node tree node t with the given value if root is not there return t this is the root else what we will do if root val is less than val then root right will equal to so if root right exists then the same function on root right else t so the right was null so this t will come here this new node 
if it's already there then simply call that function recursively on its right and the same thing if the root val was more then it will come in the left side so root left equal to root left if present then call f on roots left with the same value otherwise t and finally return root that's it and what is the time complexity here so it can uh, take one of the paths in the root in the tree and insert node there and uh, this tree may be skewed it may not be balanced so in the worst case it can take o of n time and space uh, whatever is used by this recursion stack of the function so again it can be o of n if you consider that recursion space then time and space both will be o of n now let's uh, write it in uh, lead code so uh, this tree node star t equal to new tree node with the given val if root is null return t if root val is less than val then what we did root right equal to root right then this function So let's see if it works. So this uh, test case is accepted. So let's submit the solution. And this entire solution is accepted. So I hope you understood it. It was a simple uh, insertion in binary search tree and a simple use of recursion.